All right, I'm off camera again. Got to find the right program to do these uh, vlogs with. Um, right now I'm using Audacity. I guess I should have thought of using that a while ago, but anyway, uh, yeah. So here are my thoughts on Cyborg 009 Monster Wars. Now, um, so yeah, this is a uh, sequel to the other Cyborg 009 movie that I reviewed a little some days ago. Um, <coughs> um, and yeah, once again, it's very loosely based on the original manga series. Um, my cat is meowing outside my door, um, and, uh, yeah, um, this was slightly better than the previous one, not by very much, but, uh, it's a little bit better, but, anyway, uh, <coughs> so, yeah, the story is, uh, Black Ghost creates, uh, these monsters, there's this one dragon thing they make that, uh, can create sonic waves that breaks buildings and, you know, ships and stuff apart. So it's, like, really destructive. So, yeah, the... You know, the professor in 001 called the cyborg team back together, and now my cat is clawing under the door. Um... So, yeah, um... So yeah, they band together, they fight the monsters, and, you know, they fight Black Ghost again. Um, still no uh, skull in this movie, just the computer again, whatever, you know. It's kind of an interesting concept, and, uh, you know, the concept of a computer, like, manipulating humans to, you know, commit horrible acts of violence and stuff, it's... It's an interesting concept, so whatever. <coughs> and yeah, there's also uh, this girl they take along with them. Um, and, you know, um, um, yeah, what's her name? Helena. Um, secretly, she's another cyborg, 0010, and she's like the reluctant. Uh, a servant to the bad guys, and, you know, um, I guess there's a decent story with her and all, but, uh, yeah, not a, a whole much, lot else, um, so, yeah, there's, uh, not a whole lot is improved from the last movie, um, um, I didn't get much, I didn't, uh, really see say a whole lot about, like, the pros and cons of, um, of the previous entry, but, you know, a lot of the flaws kind of persist here, you know, the animation's still limited, but at the same time, the action's still nice, um, we still barely get to know any of the cyborgs aside from, you know, uh, six, seven, nine, and, uh, three, um, <coughs> and, you know, the most we really know about six and seven is that they're goofy, but, and, you know, six is a chef, um, but, yeah, um, yeah, zero, zero, seven is still annoying, like, I think I'm, I was even more annoyed with him in this version than in the previous one, He's, um, I mean, he's not as bad as the rabbit from, uh, what was it, Little Prince and the Eight-Headed Dragon, um, but yeah, he's, he's still annoying, he still talks too much, he still, like, adds very little to a c scene with his humor, um, yeah, he's, and he's not really that funny. I know they're trying to make him funny and all, but he's not that funny. I'd say, uh... Zero zero six makes a slightly more likable uh, comic relief. Um, 
yeah, he he's not a bad one. I, yeah, I just can't stand like 007's voice. Like all of these movies, I don't know if it's like the same voice actress or something, but yeah, they're always like really squeaky voiced and stuff. Um, yeah, um, the cyborg, all the other cyborgs do still have, uh, or they have more to do in this one. They do take part in the climax, but still we barely get to know any of them. Um, and it's kind of a shame because, like, we get, yeah, it's especially unfortunate for 008 because, like, um, we get a nice introduction to all the other cyborgs, but, yeah, he doesn't get an introduction scene. He just happens to be at the base, and, yeah, that's the first we see of him. So, yeah, the black guy gets screwed over again. Um, <coughs> although, thankfully, there were no, like, racist moments like the cigar from the previous one. Yeah, um... But yeah, he's, uh, there's, like, zero character with most of them, and it's, like, I guess we get a bit of character with, like, 004, who's, like, overly excited and maybe kind of trigger-happy. Um, but that's about all I can really say about the other cyborgs. The rest of them have, like, no character outside of their powers, and, yeah, it's a real shame. I think, I think later versions of this anime do, uh, flesh them out a lot better, so, yeah. Um, um, we're also, we're also introduced to some new powers from some of them, like, um, Zero Zero One does have telekinesis in this version or in this uh, movie. He didn't really show it in the previous one, but yeah, here he is. Uh, he is psychic. He can move stuff around, and yeah. Um, let's see. Zero Zero Eight can actually uh, spit water along with swimming. So yeah, I guess that's something new. And uh, Zero Zero Four, along with like the guns and all his, uh, joints and stuff. Well, let me see, uh, he also shows that he has, like, rocket launchers and, like, his elbows. He has them in, like, all of his, uh, limb joints. But aside from that, he also has, like, a really super sharp blade on his hand, and he, like, can cut through, you know, giant robots. So, yeah, it's a pretty strong blade for, like, a tiny little... Thing on his hand, um, but yeah, what else? Um, let me see. Uh, Helena has kind of an interesting story, but uh, otherwise, she's still kind of boring. Um, I mean, I guess the twist of her being uh, like this reluctant um, henchman of the bad guy, and, uh, by the way, the bad guy from this movie is the same one as from, or, no, I, I said that already, didn't I? The computer, yeah. Um, and then, there's also, uh, this, uh, cyborg 0011, and basically he's actually, um, in the original anime, he's, uh, actually 0010, or, well, there's two of them. There's, like, the plus and the minus. They're, like, they have, like, electrical powers, and, you know, their main weakness is getting bashed into each other, basically. Uh, well, I do know that this is supposed to be Cyborg, Cyborg 0010 um, in the original version, but uh, I guess he got bumped up a number. Um... It probably is to kind of let people know. He's probably in the movie just to let people know that, uh, um, you know, he's not 00, like the 0010 in this movie is not the same as the one they know. So they put the one, they put 0010 from the anime into this movie just to let you know that, you know, this one's, you know, 0010 in this movie is different. Yeah. <laughs> Are you confused yet? Um, um, there's also... They also have to fight a robot. 
um, called Achilles. Guess how they... T or, yeah, the Achilles is basically immune to, you know, all these attacks. So, guess what his weakness is? His name is Achilles, so... Um, honestly, we didn't get a whole lot of time with them, like, fighting that uh, super sonic monster thing. Um, I don't know, I feel they could have... Well, I think a major issue with this movie, and I guess also the last one, is that it's very... Basically, it's like the opposite of the movie I reviewed last time, Mad Monster Party. Both of them have monster in the title. Um, but yeah, unlike that movie, which is really slow, the main issue with this movie is that it's a little too fast. Like... It kind of rushes through a bunch of scenes, and, you know, there's, like, very little transition, and, uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, is there any other issues to point out? Um, I can't really think of any positives to say, but, or, I mean, that I haven't already said, but, I don't know, in terms of negatives, I'm not, I can't really think of anything else at the moment. Um, well, there are some pointless moments, like I remember they like fly off in their new uh, plane thingy and they see like a bunch of like, I guess they're robots flying in the sky and they all seem to be like from different anime, so I guess they're supposed to be like cameos, but... I have no idea who any of them are, so, but, you know, they're just, like, waving to them, and, yeah, we, yeah, it's just pointless, and I don't know what's going on. Um, what else? Um, like, I'm, because of how, like, fast-paced these movies are, they're very short, like, both of them are pretty much an hour long. Like, this one was, like, exactly an hour. The last one was, like, an hour and five minutes. Um, so I'm trying to, like, go through all the stuff that happened in this movie that, uh, you know, I figure it might be a little easier to remember all the details I wanted to cover. Um, oh yeah, once again, uh, 009 gets to do most of the awesome stuff. You know, everyone else there is just backup. And yeah, I would have liked to see a little more teamwork rather than it all be about 009 and, you know, occasionally about, like, 007 being annoying. And, you know, 003 being, uh, you know, being the love interest and... To be fair, 003 does have, like, a nice backstory and stuff. Um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of time for her to interact with 009. Actually, 9 spends more time interacting with uh, the other girl, Helen. Uh, um, so you almost swear she's going to be the love interest in this one, even though you know there's, like, some kind of you know, romance going on between him and three. Um, but is there anything else? Like, it's kind of unremarkable overall. Um, I can't really say that uh, I'm a big fan of either of these movies, but I will say this one was slightly better than the previous one. Um... But, you know, as usual, if there's anything else I gotta add, because there might be, um, yeah, I'll put it in the comments. Um, and, yeah, um, basically, uh, I recommend this one about as much as I recommended the previous one. If you're interested, you can check it out. Um, um, but, yeah, um... This is only a teensy bit better than the first one. It still gets a 6 out of 10. Um, um, not, not much else I can think of right now. So, yeah, I'll, 
I'll leave it at that for this video. Um, and yeah, Mashed and Smashed signing off.